Let's get the recorder going here. There we go. And um, increase the size this a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. And we're just going to look at some basics of um, Excel. Um, now down here, see how we have sheet one, and then there's sheet two and sheet three. To switch back and forth between those, you just click the tab. So I click sheet two, sheet three. If I want to add a sheet, I click this insert worksheet here, and put a new one. And if I want to add another one, click it again. If you want to delete one, like if you don't want that one, you can right click on it, and you can click delete. Um, if I also right click, you see there's a rename. So I could rename this one stats, for example. Um, now these are individual cells in here. See, I'm in A1 right now. Uh, if I click here, this is B3. Uh, the reference is from the column and row, so B3. Now you see that right, right here. So um, now we can have a range of data. See, this is going from A1 to A9. Now, how I highlighted that is I clicked uh, with my left mouse button up here in this corner, and then I I held down my left mouse button and dragged down. So that's how you can highlight um, a whole slew of them. Um, pretty much uh, copy and paste if you use Word win or a Windows product at all, you're already familiar with those, so I won't go over that. Um, let's say I have some numbers here. And I thought I'd increase the size of that. There. Okay, so got some numbers. And I want to calculate the sum of those. Um, well, you can do an equals and type SUM. Now, notice as I'm, as I'm typing SUM, it uh, finds the, the function I'm trying to find. This is going to be useful to you because later on you'll be finding average using formulas. So as you start typing average, see you can find that there. You'll be finding standard deviation. And if I do my down arrow, it, it actually gives you a description to the right of it, which is kind of nice. But I'm going to choose sum. And then I'll put a beginning parentheses. And then I'll do A1, my starting cell colon A6, my ending cell. You should see a little blue box or some kind of color around those. Then I'll do a closing parentheses. Functions always have a beginning parentheses and closing parentheses and always have to start with an equals. And then press enter. Now another way of doing that is here I got this cell uh, selected. I can come up here and see this little FX. That's insert function. And then you can um, choose uh, most recently used if you've used it already. You can choose all to see everything. Statistical if you just want to do statistical ones. Let me choose all. And you can scroll down looking for the one you want. And uh, sums down here a ways. There it is. So I choose sum. And I'll click OK. And here then. Um, it gives me an option of uh, putting in the, the data. So I got A1 colon A6. And then I click OK. And that way you don't have to worry about putting the equals, the beginning parentheses, and closing parentheses. You can use that uh, feature. Um, some of the um, first assignments will ask you to find a sum, and it's not much much more difficult than that, but it's, it's just for you to get used to Excel if you've never worked with it. Now one other uh, handy handy um, item I'll show you. It doesn't make much sense in this one, but uh, let me let me come up with a different one. I don't think there's an assignment on it, but... It will help you in this class. Let's say I want to add these two numbers together. I'm going to do an equals and then I'll put A1 plus B1. Again, equals tells us it's going to calculate that. And instead of a function this time, I'm just I'm adding two cells. And I'll press enter. Well, instead of typing that over, you know, like equals A2 plus B2, um, doing that over and over, what you can do is if you click your first cell, in the bottom right-hand corner, there's a, what looks like a little box. 
If you put your mouse over, it changes to a plus. If you click with your left mouse button and hold down, you can then drag that down like that. It's a little tricky to get used to if you've never done it before. Sometimes you grab the wrong thing and you move, you move it instead. Um, again, it's that box in the lower right-hand corner. You click with the left mouse button, hold down, and then fill down. And then it, it automatically adjusts the formula for whatever row you're on. So it's a pretty, pretty cool uh, item that Excel does. Anyway, those are the basics of um, Excel that you'll um, need to start with in this class.